What's up, traders? It's Matt with Conservative Trades. Hope you guys are doing all right today. Happy Monday to everyone out there. For those of you who are in the live stream, you left when, or, or we had can't, uh, we had stopped the live stream, I should say, when I was only up about, I don't know, maybe 450 bucks or something like that, maybe 460. Anyway, I caught one last trade here on the TVIX, and I did make mention of that while we were in the live stream today that if the s p 500 continued to break down through these lows and get a vwap rejection here and start pushing down that i might jump on tvix again and so i did as you can see that's kind of where i came in here on tvix i bought here i bought here and then started selling all the way up here just kind of pieced out of my last few shares all the way up here around 252. so anyway uh yeah th this had taken a, a clear rejection off of vwap and so I, I was able to make a little bit extra money on the day and and the day up just over $500 so I'm done for the day guys um, this is one of those days where you know I, I, I say time and time again if if I'm kind of struggling around that 500 mark I'm, I'm pretty much gonna look for a way out I mean obviously if, if there's a trade kind of like this one on the TVIX if there's if there's just clear momentum I may jump on one just with very small share size just so I'm not risking too much just to see if I can pop myself back over that 500 mark and I was able to do that and I tell you what you know this is one of those days where you, you say to yourself you know I could have stopped so much earlier because here this morning I took a really nice pre-market trade on SPEX now you guys know I'm mostly short biased right but this was one of those trades where it just had a lot of activity in pre-market it was ramping up on some pretty good news it's all obviously surrounding the coronavirus and all that stuff so it had pumped up here and it, you know we're, we're dealing with a, a, a small float here it's a low float small cap stock and you know when you watch pre-market action long enough when you sit in the market day by day and you come to the market when you know roughly eight o'clock eight thirty even though even though the market doesn't technically technically open till nine thirty if you stay pretty committed and spend a lot of days a lot of mornings in the markets in pre-market watching pre-market action sometimes you can just kind of get a feel for these types of moves here and i saw that it was it was it was continuing to come down but it'd get bought back up it would come down get bought back up would come down and i said to myself you know what I said, I'm just going to risk a little here. And I did. I only took 400 shares. When I saw it kind of dropping back towards these levels after it had kind of had a failed breakout here, I went ahead and unloaded 200 of those shares. But when it started continuing to ramp back up and I saw the volume picking up, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to add to the position. So I had another 200 here and another 200 here. So at one point I had a 600 share uh, or 600 shares with an average of, I don't know, somewhere around maybe like 290. But anyway, started popping up and you can see I started piecing out of the trade bit by bit all up through here. And then when it came back, I pieced out a little more here. I still had some shares on the table and I went ahead and added back into the position and it started breaking out through these highs. So I added back in here, started taking profit, took profit it here and then I added here and uh, it I think it had halted at one point so I don't know I don't I can't remember if it halted on its way down anyway I, I started piecing out of the trade and obviously um, I think I took well it must have halted here because you can see the the space there's no there's no action going on here with the, no price action with the candles and so when it came back in I must have gotten out my last little bit here but then I tried to catch a move I tried to catch a bounce play a dead cat bounce off of this level of support right here so I got in but it just kept flushing to the downside so I got out and then it ended up popping back up and you know just whippy action here guys and I think I tried to take another long here after this breakthrough VWAP and it came back down to test these levels I got in here but then it just kept flushing and I got out again so here's here's the thing you know had I just this pre-market trade actually went really really well Okay, and I've seen this happen so many times. I've seen it happen time and time again. This is why studying is so important. This is why being committed to coming in here, you know, if you want to be a really good solid day trader, obviously it, it takes the mental discipline and the emotional control, but th it, it starts here with educating yourself and, and becoming very well acquainted with the market, learning how to get a sense of when these types of moves are going to be made. Okay, and so here you can see I ended up over $400 on SPX, but there was one point where I was like, I was up, I don't know, maybe five, oh, it was over $500. I mean, so technically when you think about it, I could have just stopped here. <laughs> I could have just stopped here, but you know, such is hindsight in the markets, right? You, you don't want to stop though. You want to, you want to continue to capitalize on opportunities. I mean, when you, when you can make $500 within the first 10 minutes out the gate, you, you, you do start thinking to yourself, well, you know, this could be a, this could be a four digit day. So anyway, it was worth taking a shot on it but it didn't work out and i ended up losing you know a little over 100 bucks but i still i still managed to, to stay over 400 on that trade and so i was happy about that 
And then Roku was just kind of another little scalp that I, I took here when I when I noticed again the S and P 500 around that time was starting to reject off of these these highs of the day. And so I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to take a little 50 share scalp here. And I did. You can see I took 50 shares here and I took 25 off here. And I was looking for it to continue to move down, but it started coming back up. So I went ahead and got out the other 25 shares here, but just didn't want to mess around with it. Just because here's the thing, guys. Today the spy is breaking through lows so we know that you know about roughly a week week and a half ago the spy just made the severe move to the downside and I was was really hoping that we could hold these lows but we cracked through it guys which obviously pre presented some really great shorting opportunities but you know today it's kind of just been um, I, I don't know it's kind of been a little choppy it's been a little choppy I mean obviously it's gone up it's gone down it's gone up it's gone down but you know I just I, I I'm wanting to be careful I'm wanting to be careful because um, you know, I think at any moment it, it could start getting bought back up. We're probably not going to see that today. I think there's a little bit more fear and panic going on right now. It's probably actually going to continue to move to the downside. But again, when you're sitting up or excuse, excuse me, at least me, this is my own personal rule. You know, when I'm, when I'm having a struggle around the $500 mark, you know, I'm just careful. I'm careful and I, you know, I don't go too far in. So, but this was a nice little 24 bucks on Roku. I mean, 20 bucks, it basically probably after the, the commissions, maybe 22 bucks or whatever, it paid for itself, right? It definitely paid for itself. And it was just a short little scalping trade here. You know, I, I wasn't in this trade for much more than seven, eight minutes. I, so I'll take 20 bucks for eight minutes of work, 20 bucks. There's a lot of people who don't even make 20 bucks an hour. So um, that's just how you got to look at it, guys. In here on the TVIX, again, just again, playing, making moves off of the S and P 500. And I took some moves this morning. I, I kind of was, you know, up and then I was down and then I was up, then I was down. And, you know, so I'm just, I'm just kind of piecing out here, guys. I'm done. The spy is very likely going to continue to make moves to the downside, but I don't know. It, it could just make a, a higher low and, you know, continue to push up tomorrow. So I don't know. But what I do know is that my work here is done for the day anyway. My work here is done. I'm going to stay where I'm at. I'm going to take the money and run and tomorrow's another day. So guys, hope you are doing all right today. If you want to let me know down in the comments, if you're finding value in this channel, if you're enjoying it, please like, subscribe, share it with others. And also let me know down in the comments, what was what were some of the trades that you made today? And were you able to capitalize on any of this momentum with the TVIX versus the SPY? Um, I'd be very, very uh, interested to know in, in how many other people are catching these moves. So anyway, guys, have a good rest of the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.